BC salmon farmers have so much to be proud of. One of Canada's most climate-friendly food production sectors sustains nearly 7,000 jobs in BC coastal communities like Campbell River and Port Hardy. Designated an essential service by federal and provincial governments during COVID-19, all while responsibly raising BC's top seafood export, some of the world's highest quality salmon. In our Deeper Dive series, we aim to inform you based on science, research, and facts. In our first segment, we're looking at land-based salmon farming. BC salmon farmers are considered world leaders in innovation. Every farm salmon is reared from local brood stock in land-based hatcheries on Vancouver Island. Like wild salmon, our fish spend the first months of their lives in fresh water, but at hatcheries, before being transferred to ocean farm sites, a salmon's natural free-ranging environment. BC has a handful of small land-based operations, raising fish in tanks on land for their entire lives. Land-based farms make up less than 1% of BC's average annual salmon production. No land-based technology in the world has demonstrated the production capacity to successfully move all of BC's farm-raised salmon on land in a way that meets the world's growing demand for healthy ocean-based protein, remaining both environmentally sustainable and commercially viable. In order to produce more land-based farm salmon, the how becomes an important part of the conversation an evidence-based approach that considers impact on the environment, the coastal BC economy, and as importantly, the humane raising of fish in as natural an environment as possible. It's not a this or that conversation. We'll need all types of technology and farming settings to meet growing global demand for seafood. Let's take a look at some of the key differences between ocean-based farming and land-based farming. Farm footprint. Ocean farms usually have eight to 12 square or circle pens. Using a farm with eight circle pens, they are about 67 meters in width, 132 meters in length, and 30 meters in depth. The overall footprint is about the size of one and a half soccer fields, which allows the ocean currents to flow freely and offers the most natural environment for fish. An equivalent land-based farm would be roughly 280 meters long and 180 meters wide, more than double the existing footprint of an ocean farm. That's because the tanks are shallow and need to be housed in buildings. To replicate current ocean-based BC salmon production, we would require level land equivalent to five times the area of downtown Tofino. It would also require four billion liters of clean, fresh water just to fill the tanks. That's about a six month supply of fresh water for the city of North Vancouver. So we need to consider that land-based farms have an environmental impact too. Fish health, density, same as farming any other animal, we also need to consider fish health and how fish are humanely raised. At their largest size, the total area of an ocean farm is about 2% salmon and 98% ocean, allowing fish to swim and school naturally throughout their lives. Land-based farms use indoor shallow tanks where space is at a premium, so density is typically about three times higher than ocean-based farms. This reduces the area to swim and school naturally and creates large amounts of feces which fish swim in, placing more stress on fish which can lead to lower immunity and susceptibility to pathogens and outbreaks. Water and energy use. Ocean farms utilize naturally occurring tidal currents, temperature, and oxygen, so salmon are able to grow naturally in an optimal environment. A land-based farm must duplicate the 24-7 need for optimum oxygen levels, consistent water temperatures, and a strong current all which must be sustained by a large uninterrupted power supply, resulting in increased greenhouse gas emissions. All farming has an environmental impact. In the case of land-based salmon farms, wastewater is flushed through drainage systems into the environment and eventually the ocean. Economic impact. BC's ocean-based salmon farms sustain nearly 7,000 family-supporting rural coastal jobs in communities like Campbell River, Gold River, Sayward, Tofino, Port Alberni, Port Hardy, and Port McNeil. And cost isn't everything, but it is a relevant variable to consider. Land-based farming operating expenses are roughly 10 times more than ocean-based farming. These operating expenses are eventually passed on to the customer, driving up fish prices and making healthy farm salmon less affordable for many. Lots has been said about land-based salmon farming, that it's the future, but the reality is, BC is considered a world leader in innovation and responsible farming today.
interested in learning more? Visit bcsalmonfarmers.ca slash deeper dive.